Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Keanu, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make two different slimes. The first slime is a crunchy phloem. The second is a glossy, clicky slime. Barely see it, but. Okay, so starting off, we're going to make the clicky slime. So, what you're gonna need is some glue. You need some water, lotion, soap, food coloring is optional, a bowl, and a spoon to mix everything with. What you need is activator. Um, you could use all different types of things like soft flow, contact solution. What I'm using is one cup of warm water with one teaspoon of borax. You just want to pour in the amount of glue that you want. You want to pump in lots of lotion. The lotion is what makes it soft and stretchy, so add in a lot. Add in a few pumps of soap. I'm just using normal hand soap. Add in a tiny bit of water. I'm just gonna add in like, basically probably one cap full and stir it all together. At this point, you can mix in some food coloring, but I just wanna keep mine plain white. By the way, I did not come up with this recipe. I will include a screenshot. You have everything mixed and dissolved with each other, you can start adding in your activator. This is a very slow process. You just wanna add in a little bit at a time and just keep mixing it, kinda like this, a little bit of chunkiness. Once you've activated it a lot, you can just cover your hands with the borax and just start kneading it. Just start playing with it a little bit. And if it's not very stretchy at first, you can just, one, just keep playing with it. And you could also add in more lotion. The more you play with it, the better it will get. So enjoy your clicky slime. Move on to the crunchy slime, AKA phloem. So what you're going to need is a bowl, a spoon, clear glue, foam balls, some warm water, glitter, or food coloring is optional. So first thing that you want to do is pour in your amount of glue. You don't have to use that much because the foam balls will add a lot of like mass. And then you want to add in your warm water. There's no exact measurement. And then you can mix that up. For this one, I'm going to add color and glitter. Stir that up. A little bit of glitter. So now you're going to add in your activator. For this crunchy slime, you're going to want to use a different kind of activator. It's basically just a different ratio. So what I used is a cup of warm water and a half a teaspoon of borax. So just keep squirting a little bit. And even though it's still sticky, we want it to be like that because we're going to be adding it to our foam balls. Coat my hand with a little bit of activator and just start moving the slime around. And as you can see, the slime is just picking up all the balls. You just gotta keep playing with it. This is the best way to make it stretchy. Guys hear that crunch. Well, even though it is very messy at first, you just have to do it like that so it can be stretchy or else you won't have it as 
is very stretchy. I think I'm just gonna name it Great Phantom Flow. The balls don't fall out at all. Um, the one that's on my hand is because there's glue on my hand. But yeah. Let's get some ASMR going. I just kicked the whole bag of balls. Alrighty guys, that is basically it for this video where I taught you how to make glossy and crunchy slimes. Hopefully you guys are able to repeat these recipes at your house, or hopefully you guys just had a good time watching the video. So with that being said, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.